In this video, I'm going to show you how to relieve arthritic knee pain in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to focus on quick arthritic knee pain relief from osteoarthritis. That is the wear and tear arthritis in the knee. And I'm going to break it up into three separate parts that each focus on a main cause of arthritic knee pain. The first being soft tissue and muscle tightness. Second will be joint stiffness. And last will be the big one, knee weakness. Go through all three parts to get the best results and take what works best for you. As a bonus, all of these exercises can be done at home, do not require any special equipment and may give quick arthritic knee pain relief, even in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started and fix that knee pain at home right now. In this part, we're going to focus on a big cause of arthritic knee pain, which is muscle and soft tissue tightness. This is known as gua sha or muscle scraping and it works really well for instant knee pain relief. We need a couple things. The first being a large metal spoon. You want one with a little bit more thickness to it. The other being a form of lubrication. I like to use coconut oil, but you can use any massage lotions or oils. Just start off by coating the area around the knee, front, sides, and back with the lubrication. Also make sure to hit the front part of the leg, including the calves right here and also the top part hitting the quads and the hamstrings. So when it comes to lubrication too, a little bit more is always better. With the spoon, it doesn't matter what part you use. You can use the handle or the rounded portion. Experiment with both. Take what works best for you. I like to use the handle. So I'm gonna start at the top part of the knee. You only want to go over soft tissue like skin and muscle. Avoid any bony spots because that can cause irritation. But I angle the spoon just very slightly and then press into the skin until I feel a comfortable, deep, self-massage starting to form, not causing irritation. I'm just going to do a slow stroke upwards. With these ones, you want to stroke upwards. And I'm gonna do this nice and slow for about five times. And then I'm just gonna move over a different spot and repeat. When you do this, you might notice that one spot just feels really, really gritty. You want to make note of that. That tends to be a spot of adhesion and that can lead to stiffness, tightness, and ultimately pain. So you really want to attack that just a little bit more. You also might notice red pockets forming at the top of the skin. I don't know if you can see it on the video right here. That's blood flow coming to the area which promotes healing, it's a good thing. So I'm gonna do this whole process pretty much from the top off to the sides, really focusing on the bottom of the hamstrings right here at the back of the knee. And then I'm just gonna work around the knee and then I'm going to do this in the front part of the leg, even more so into the calf right here, making note of any spot that feels gritty, locked up, painful, tight, and really putting some more repetitions in there until it finally starts to release. But you can also experiment with different parts of the spoon at that point. You can also do it at different angles. So instead of going straight like this, tack it at a different angle and see if that helps out. I also like to go around the kneecap. With this one, I take the spoon, uh, the tip of the spoon, I should say, it doesn't matter what part you use, and really just dig around that whole area, stopping over any spot. Like right here, I feel a little bit tenderness going on right there, so I'm gonna dig in there and just hopefully work that out a little bit more. But you can go pretty much do this all the way around the knee into the front part of the calf, hamstring, any spot that attaches to the knee. I also like to experiment with different spots of the knee. So I will pretty much have it at an angle where it's completely straight, and then I'll repeat this process, and then I'll also bend the knee and repeat it. It just puts the muscles into different spots, and you might find that it gives you a little bit more relief. But you can also do this while putting the knee through motion. Like, let's say that you have a lot of clicking while you're at this angle right here. What I'll do is try to locate that spot where it's popping or clicking and then take my spoon and really focus on trying to break up any adhesion, stiffness, and tightness in that area. And over time, you may notice that it starts to go away. But explore the whole area and focus on the spots and movements that offer you the most amount of relief. In this part, we're going to focus on achy joint stiffness by putting mobility back into an arthritic knee. This exercise is known as a knee around the world slider. And I really like this one because it's going to build strength, stability, and stretch the knees out and put the knee into different positions so you can better pinpoint areas of tightness and stiffness. We just need something that is going to glide on the floor. So 
If you have carpeted floors, you can use a furniture mover like I'm using. You can also use a paper plate or a piece of cardboard. If you have hardwood floors, you can use a towel or thick socks. So let's start by getting into position. You're going to put whatever you're using underneath one foot and we're going to get into a quarter squat stance. That is just buckling the knees very slightly until you start to feel the leg muscles engage. From there, I try to keep my weight on my heels. I'm going to engage the core, have very good upright posture for better support. My hands are going to go on my hips. So what I'm gonna do is whatever side doesn't have the glider on it, I'm gonna keep that one locked. This is going to be our stability point. So our knee is not going to buckle inwards, it's not going to buckle outwards during this exercise. Instead, the other leg is then going to slide forward as much as we can. So with this one, you're going to feel a lot of good activation in this knee right here. That is our stability point, and you're going to feel a deep stretch happening around the knee with this one. Really try to reach out with your toes as much as you can. From there, we're going to hold this for about three to five seconds. You're just going to relax. On the next repetition, instead of going straight with it, go out just very slightly at an angle. You'll notice that it hits the knees just a little bit differently. So you're gonna repeat this whole process, kind of building an arc, going all the way towards the side, and then working your way backward. Just doing this nice and slowly. Once you go all the way backward, what you're gonna do is then go in reverse, and then work your way back forward. When you do this too, you're going to notice that one certain angle just really hits that spot the best. Maybe you're also getting clicking or popping sensations while doing it. Make note of that. You want to stop right at that spot and then throw more repetitions in, upwards to 10. Afterwards, see if your knees feel a little bit better, if you're not getting any clicking with it. If you feel like you need another set, throw one in. Always address the spots that need it the most. But once you've gone all the way uh, backward and then all the way forward and did a little bit more repetitions on the spots that need it the most, you're just gonna switch to the other side at that point and repeat to keep them both in balance. Without a doubt, if you not only want to help relieve arthritic knee pain, but lessen it in the future, we have to focus on strengthening everything in and around the knee. This will be the most important part of this video. This first exercise, and I'm going to go from easy and then progress into a little bit more challenging ones, is going to help us really with straightening the knee out as much as we can, putting that knee into extension, which can be very difficult with knee arthritis. What I'm going to do is start with a water bottle wrapped in a towel. You can also use something like a soup can or just a really thick rolled up bath towel, but you just want to place it right on the back side of the knee. What I'm going to do from there is start to press down with my knee straight down into the water bottle and towel while then lifting up with my foot at the same time. You'll feel a lot start to fire around the knee, the leg muscles, back of the knee right here, even into the calf. You want to hold this position right here for about five seconds. And then you're just going to relax, take a breather, and then repeat this one 10 to 15 times with each repetition, trying to fire those muscles and challenge them just a little bit more. From there, relax a little bit. If you feel like you have a little bit more energy, throw in another set or two. Just always challenge those muscles as much as you can. And when you're done on one side, switch to the other to keep them both in balance. This exercise is known as the pelvic bridge with knee extension. It's a perfect daily exercise that will help build strength and stability in the knees, the hips, and the back. This one can be done in bed or on a floor. Just lie flat on your back. Your legs will be roughly hip width apart. Your knees bent, feet flat. I'm going to take my hands, place them on my hips. The movement is driving the hips upwards towards the ceiling until you have a nice straight line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. If you're unable to get that straight line, like you can only go up just a little bit, do the best you can. Over time, you'll notice that you'll gain strength and flexibility to be able to get into this position. But you should feel the core muscles activating, the lower back, the glutes, the legs going down into the knees. Hold this position for five seconds. From there, you're just going to relax, take a breather, and then repeat this one 10 to 15 times. This is how we can take it to the next level and focus a little bit more onto a knee. So let's get back into this bridge position, but I'm going to then straighten one leg at the knee as much as we can. This will become very challenging. You'll find that the muscles are really firing in the legs going into that knee. Hold this one for five seconds. You're just going to relax, and then you're going to repeat it 
on the other side. You want to do this one nice and slowly for about 10 to 15 repetitions on both sides. Afterwards, if you feel like you have a little bit more energy and want to challenge the muscles even further, throw in another set or two. So let's save the best exercise for last, the squat. The squat will help us build strength and stability in the legs, the knees, the hips, the back. It will also help us go from a seated to standing position, a movement that tends to be very painful for those with arthritic knees. I'm gonna be using a variation called the wall squat. I like this one because it offers more support and it helps identify knee positions and movements that tend to cause more pains, aches, clicks, and pops. We need to go next to a smooth wall or a door. Place your whole backside against it, from your head all the way down to your butt. Your legs are going to be roughly hip width apart, your toes pointed out in front of you. During this exercise, make sure that your knees do not go past your toes. If that's the case, just put them out a little bit further. I'm going to place all of my body weight on my heels and then angle my toes out slightly, about 10 degrees. This helps take tension off the knees. From there, I can take my hands, place them on my hips, or I can cross them over my torso. I also want to engage my core for a little bit more support. But the goal is with this one to just slide downwards as much as you can into that squatting position until you feel a deep activation of the leg muscles going to the knee. Go down as far as you feel comfortable. Once we hit that point, hold this for about five seconds. From there, you can come back up and relax. If you felt like that was too easy, you can make it more challenging by holding it for longer, 15 or 30 seconds. But with each repetition, what you want to do is slide down even further and hold it for longer to the point where you can go down and have your knees at 90 degrees. But don't go past that because it can cause knee issues. But try to do this one right here for about three to five repetitions, going down as far as you can and holding for as long as you can. From there, take a breather. If you feel like you have a little bit more uh, energy left, throw in another set or two. Just challenge those muscles because it's only going to help make them stronger. What we can also do to take this one to the next level is by putting more fluid motion into this squat to identify any movements that cause clicking or popping sensations in the knee. So let's get back into our original position right here, but what I'm going to do is slide down until I feel that pop, like let's say it's right here for me. From there what I'm going to do is go up just very slightly above that uh, position, and then I'm going to hold this for about three seconds, and then I'm going to go below the position which caused that pop, just gliding up and down very, very slowly. Do this for about five to ten repetitions. Afterwards, see if you still have that clicking sensation. Maybe it's lessened. If it's still there a little bit, throw in another set. But it's just a good way to really loosen everything else up, strengthen that area, and hopefully lead to less pain, clicking, and popping in the knee. If the exercise has helped you, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.